Hello everyone, this is Mario Hernandez from Media Current. Today we are going to talk about Flexbox, the flexible box layout module of CSS, which makes it easier to design flexible, responsive layouts structure without using flood or positioning. I will not cover everything about Flexbox. There are plenty of resources out there you can look into, but today I'm going to focus on one specific feature. It is the margin auto feature. So I created a code pen and here I have a very simple navigation, right? Very typical navigation. It's got a nav tag and all the navigation items are inside an unordered list. Imagine that you want to style this navigation, uh, but you want this login link here that you can see here. It doesn't feel like it actually belongs with the rest of the link. So it would be nice if we can move this all the way to the right of the uh, container so that it stands out all by itself. And that way it makes our navigation a little bit more standard, right? Where page specific uh, links are on the left and the login link is on the right of the navigation. So there are many ways in which you can do this, but I'm going to show you how you can easily do this with Flexbox by using margin auto. I've styled the navigation with very basic styles, nothing special. The only difference here is for the list itself, for the UL, I uh, use the display property with the value of flex. That means I am enabling Flexbox now and now it is available to me. By doing flex on the list, that means every list item becomes a flex item. And I'm choosing here to align the navigation items to the left by using flex start. I'm going to use the last child selector to target the last item on the navigation. And I'm going to add a margin left property with the value of auto. Notice that once I do that, the last item now is automatically moved all the way to the end of that navigation container. That's pretty neat, right? But let me show you a more practical example. So here we have another example. I think it's a little more practical where we have three cards with different kinds of content, right? And different amounts of content. And what I like to do is to move that read the full post link all the way to the bottom on all the cards so regardless of how much content each card has, that link will always be at the bottom of each of the cards. Again, there are several ways we can do this. One of those is using the position property. That's not always the best way to go about it. We can use padding or some kind of margin, but again, that could affect things depending on how much content each card has. So our goal is to be able to move that to the bottom regardless of the amount of content. So let's take a look at what we've done here to style the cards just as they are. First, we are using uh, a, col uh, a wrapper around the cards, right? And we're using flex there just to uh, be able to list the cards in a row the way you see them there. The beauty of Flexbox is that when we do display flex on a container, all the flex items become equal height. As you can see here, we haven't done anything to determine that each card should be the same height as the other ones. Now at the card level, as you can see, we are also using flex uh, to be able to organize the cards uh, as flex and set its property of flex direction to column. That way the content within the card is stacked. And here is where we come in because the link that we want to put at the bottom is inside the content area of the card. Let's inspect that for a moment. So here we have the card collection, which is the wrapper of all the cards, and each article is an individual card. Let's go to the middle card, and we see that it's broken down into card media for the image and then the content of the card. Notice how high the content area is compared to the content on the third card. We can see that uh, they're similar, but not quite exactly the same height. So in order for us to move that link to the bottom of the card, we need to allow for this content wrapper on each card to grow all the way to the maximum height of the card. And we can do that by using the flex grow property in our CSS. Now that we set the value of one for the flex grow property, this means that that content, the card content wrapper will be able to grow as much as it can based on the height of the card. Let's take a look at how this looks now in the inspector. So if we inspect the second card, we can see that now that the content wrapper is as high as the card it is, right? Let's take a look at the other card and we can see that that is also the case there. So the flex scroll is critical if you want to make sure that all the areas that you want to affect uh, have the same height. 
Okay, now that we have the content section on each card all equal height, now let's use the margin auto property for the link. And if we look at the markup, the link is actually inside a, a div with the class of card read more, right? So let's use that selector. And now we are going to use the margin auto property. However, uh, which margin direction do we need to set here to auto? Uh, for the navigation, we used margin left, right? Because we wanted the last navigation item to move all the way to the right. So in this case, what we need to do is use margin top, right? Because we want the, the top of the link to basically expand so that it can move the link down. And now by setting the margin top to auto, we can see that now the link uses whatever space is available within that container. And it moves itself all the way to the bottom of that card as much as it can, right? Where uh, until it hits the end of the card. And that's where we can see that now we have the link at the exact same location for all the cards, regardless of how much content each card has. Notice that if I add more content to one of the cards, the other cards links continue to drop all the way to the bottom because the content on each card continues to grow. And then the margin top auto allows for the link to continue to drop to the bottom. That's it for today. I hope this was helpful. I'll see you on the next video. Thank you.